Hey guys, today we are not unboxing something, we are actually putting something into a box. Um, this is my old desktop, uh, not that old, it's an 8th gen i3. But the box is, <clears throat> it's not, it's, a, it's, a old, it's an old chassis. So it's not got USB 3, um, it's actually just something I used to put my stuff in. So let's see what I've got in here. Sorry for the bouncy cameras and stuff. I, I'm still waiting for camera mounts and stuff. Okay, this one needs a service. That's a bit dirty. But there we go. We've got a 1050 Ti graphics card, 450 watt um, Cooler Master, just a basic Cooler Master power supply. Um, and yeah, that's it. I think I have a video of this build or when I, when I put the stuff in here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, also got a normal hard drive, SSD is hidden here somewhere. I think it's, uh, <laughs> oh, it's got an NVMe, sorry. I thought, uh, I thought I had an SSD, but it's, it, this one's got an NVMe. Then, what else? Yeah, I need to rip out all of this. Maybe I'll just give it a bit of a blow first. Don't like working on stuff this dirty. Then we'll bolt all of this into the MX330G. This is a Cougar gaming case. Um, got that second hand from somebody. Um, I don't know where they got this. But in any case, yeah. I think it's going to be much nicer than this because that one's got a glass panel on the side. A uh, bit more breathability with the airflow and USB 3. The most important part for that one is USB 3. This one did not have USB 3, only USB 2 and not a lot of that. So I had to... What did I do? Oh, I don't actually... Oh, I couldn't connect the USB 3 because the wire couldn't get... Uh, couldn't reach the the port, I think. I don't know. But I see the USB 3 <laughs> at the back is not connected. So, let's... Uh, yeah, well, this is actually useless because it's got six, four USB 3s at the back. So, yeah. Let's get this cleaned. Right. Everything's cleaned out. Uh, I've got the screwdriver. So, let's start taking this thing apart. Um, it's always a good idea to earth yourself. Uh, at least touch the case or the chassis before you work on anything in here. You can blow up something pretty quickly. I've blown up a multimeter just trying to measure statics voltage. So that's a real thing. Okay, let's take out the graphics card. Um, these are normally used to attach extra drives. That's why it's such a mess in here. I normally have stuff that I fix computers, so yeah, that should explain it. Technician's computer is always the one with the worst cabling. Um, So there's my little NVMe. Um, it's a Transcend, and I'm happy with the speed, eh?
screws. And there we go, so Pillow Master, nice 450 watt uh, Cooler Master power supply. It's, a, it's, a, it's got a bit of sleeving, but yeah, just a basic power supply. It's working. That's the main thing. It's working. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use a CD or multi rotor again, maybe. But let's get rid of this case, put that one down, and see what we've got. Oh, the Windows 7 license sticker is still on that case. So, let's pull this out. Okay, uh, as you can see, it is second hand on the, <laughs> on the glass. Okay, so got these nice one piece of aluminium. Oh, this looks pretty good. Also put this somewhere safe. So maybe I'll put in the, the multi-writer. Um, because this one has not got a door or anything like that. It's uh, actually not that difficult to put in. So I'm thinking. So let's see how the board will fit in here. Uh, I didn't put, I didn't take out the plate, the header plate or what, the back plate. So what? See, we've got a screw there, there, there. We need one, two, three. We need three more. I can use something else. Also got a bunch of screws here from other bolts. Um, the motherboard in its place. Oh, I need to put in this little plate at the back. Put that plate, oh, there. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, how long is this gonna be? The length, or oh, maybe I'll put it, just put it through there. Yeah, we'll see now. Because it is nice to put the cable through there, up there. I'll show you what I mean. Let's take off, take off this panel. Okay, so what's this? Some weird random screw. Why? Why is it there? It's got clips. Yeah, it's just got clips. Little clips. Let's put the power supply in it. Let's just put the motherboard in its spot. Okay, so I'll have to bring this cable through there. Okay. I think that one will be fine there. Something like that. Let's see if we put it there. Yeah, it's gonna be some neat Need cable management there. Let's fasten the motherboard. There we go. Two more. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Hopefully I don't need anything else in here. So as you can see, I'm using a standard CPU fan. And I've done some rendering with this. Uh, no, I don't get any overheating or anything like that. On the Intel fans, they, they're good. Good enough for what I'm doing. I'm gonna try and do some, some cable management. So this is where this computer will be living. Um, I'm actually uh, busy editing that exact or the video you are watching now. Um, was editing it when you, when I, yes. Um, there you go. Um, let me, with the camera light on, it's a bit difficult to see inside the chassis or whatever. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool case. Um, let me quickly take off the side cover. All right, there we go. So as you can see, every single wire and everything is tugged away nicely. Um, in the back, you can't see it. The power supply is neatly at the bottom. Um, I haven't got fans in the front yet. I don't have anything on top. But um, even with, with rendering and everything, um, this PC stays quite cool. Um, what I did do in the meanwhile was upgrading to this um, 1080 Ti. Um, the card was, uh, somebody was selling it second hand, so I bought that also. Um, and it's doing a good job at everything. So yeah, that's my little setup and uh, uh, I think I'm happy with the, with the chassis, especially as I said with the USB 3s, um, I use them quite a lot, uh, the front, front USBs, and yeah, it's just a joy working with this PC. So thanks for watching and have a great one.